Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Underman, and this is going to be more of Stellaris, in which a scientist has gone missing. At a observation post orbiting, Asinor has been, let's see, she's taken part in the covert mission to collect plant samples from the plant service, but did not return to the shuttle when the rest of, with the rest of her team. We have been conducting limited research this is not to alert the pre-FTLs, but so far without success. On the Tomb World? Well, she's probably dead if she went missing on the Tomb World. But, I figured you should come back for that, YouTube, so here we are. Welcome back. We've also possibly come into contact with Miners. We're making our fleet a little bit bigger. Construction complete. I feel like I'm making new ships and then Space having to upgrade them. Life form encountered. I'm sorry? What the hell? Did you do that? That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Okay, that seems that seems immediate. We want to go deal with that. With our 1k fleet. Let's just No, 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 don't Space just under attack. Oh no, they're going to know I need that. You jerk hackers! What the hell? Construction complete. Okay, so they didn't destroy, destroy. Actually, Nightmorphus, that's... That's not really Stellaris for me. Uh, I've never known that to happen. I went into a system. I took out some crystalline entities. And then I... I took the system, and then more of them showed up, and that is not what normally happens. I would I would argue that is not what normally happens. There's some better uh, immersive gameplay that's coming out in this patch, I'm feeling. Like, it feels like the game is having me do, like, more stuff is happening. Oh, my science vessel is back. Cool. What do I need for Zorf over here? I need... Let's say 2k. It would be good to have 2k for that. Research the cube. Construction complete. Whoops. Spaceborne life form encountered. Again? Or the same one? A new one. Oh, this is unrelated to this window. One second. A yellow 4.3k of fleet power. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the home system. Without warning, the gateway to our home system flickered to life for a brief moment. Just long enough to... For something to emerge from the gateway... The glowing gateway core. The metal object responded to no hails nor emitted any signals itself. 
It's true nature unknown until the last moment when we managed to get a clear visual feed. It was the science ship that we shot into the gateway many months ago. It had aged more than that, though. Scanners indicate the ship being more than a thousand years old. Of the crew, only dust remained, but some intact data recordings could be salvaged. The data included the marvelous descriptions of gateway technology, as well as audio messages left by a crew member. That future, my kind will know suffering on that baleful day, the day when the sky rains blue fire. Intriguing. So, I believe I have a science ship back, but no crew? Or do I still have to replace the science ship? Meanwhile, back at the ranch... Oh, that was not a yellow nameplate. Okay, so that's 4K. That's 711K. That's 5K. And this is a 10 size science world. I mean, well, let's just science this, shall we? Research anomalies within system. Battle commenced. Oh wait, that's debris. I actually need to research that. Hold on. Uh, how do I stop what you're doing? Okay. That's 986. And now let's see if even more show up here. Bronze Age civilization appears. 50 L aliens have recently advanced beyond the Neolithic era into the equivalent of the early Bronze Age. Cities and larger communities are being taking shape. Hey, you you go, Earthers. You can do it. I belie in you. Oh, that ship is in route. I've got a construction ship that needs work. I'm sorry, question mark? Unidentified Empire? What? Did you guys get taken over or something? Why did those numbers update when I got to this screen? That's so weird. Belligerent, okay. We could gather some information. Upkeep costs four energy. We have that to spare right now. Let's see if we can get some get some intel. Encounter in Aruz. Youth aliens. Man, all my envoys, and I have a lot of envoys, they're all busy. Sigma aliens appear to establish communication with us, having sent large audio visual transmission that appears the key to translating their language. Our experts are confident that we will be able to use this to learn to communicate with them soon. 
Of course, we will have to trust them that their offered translations are not misleading, and we'll have to reliably interpret information presented from a truly vast, vastly different experiential context. Hey, they are receptive. Neat. Possibly, possibly a small federation over here. If there's two civilizations contacting me without interfering with each other close Research together. Research complete. The awareness of the Vivisian society in the Ejagus system is increased to low awareness. I have awareness levels? Wait, I have awareness levels? Oh! Neat? Nobody's claimed this system. Why does nobody claim that system? I could claim that system. Hi. Right. Special project complete. Slice and dice. Uh, sorry, um, I haven't seen Scream Six yet. All right, the. The crew on the Discovery has subjected the Metal Cube to every code-breaking algorithm known to us and responded with nothing but silence. Is it a cipher? A container for valuable items? Is there no meaning behind this cube? What then is the meaning of anything? Were some of the thoughts that scurried through the overworked minds of science officer Tobias Atira when she initially brought out the lasers and sliced the first and sliced first the cube, tightened her paw in half, the cube was empty. Oh dear. It's gained the maniacal trait following the effects research speed plus 5%. Okay. okay. Maniacal researcher. Ooh, what's this? Orange increase. Oh, wow. They have a population of two on a tomb world, though. It's 19. Neat. We can't uplift you or anything yet, but we do have a science done. Oh, man. Do we want to just beeline gateway activation? Gateway travel? Because we have a long distance to cover in our systems, and that might be good. How long will that take? No way. We're looking at multiple thousands. Let's not do that. Let's go for better shields. But it's on the table. It's on the docket. The to-do list. I'm not sure why these guys are showing up with a question mark now. It's kind of concerning. Research complete. What can that construction ship do in the meantime? Strike craft? Get some engineering research speed. How close are we? Okay. We can almost afford... Hey, do you... Oh! They don't have their borders close to us. That's cool. New World Order. I'm sorry? Preaching a radical doctrine of planetary unification, a charismatic leader has appeared on Sol 3. Now only a small and relatively ill-equipped band of rebels stands opposed to a majority rule 
What? Watch and learn will have the following effects. Watching this unfold should provide you some interesting insight. A leader. Aiding this leader of the majority faction will have a required investment of research resources. Upkeep 20 energy? Aid rebels. Aiding the rebels are significant wits. Preaching a radical doctrine of planetary unification. I mean... I'm very interested in this, but I don't have any context. Charismatic leader trying to unify the planet does not initially, like, is not inherently bad. That's where I am. Other than you said a radical doctrine. What does that mean? Are we going to watch the humans destroy themselves? Research complete. Hey, we got gene clinics. Definitely need some of that. Uh, monthly unity increase. Sounds good. Do we have a slot on Nightmorphus? We do not. Let's get another city district so we can build a gene clinic to help with the research from Nightmorphus. Red indicator. What is happening? Stability and happiness is negative. Upkeep 100 energy? Wow. Trying to mess with the the existence of pre-FTL civilizations is not cheap. 100 energy, 100 minerals, 25 unity, 50 alloys. That's upkeep, so that's monthly. Wow, I guess we just have to watch Earth fall into Cataclysm. I'm, I'm cool with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm cool with it. Never been able to do it before, but uh, it, not a small investment. Sounds very neat. How are you coming on this? You're almost done. Cool. Then you can go get this debris over here. Ships upgraded. Speaking of ships. Singing planet. What we first assumed to be a deliberate attempt at communications turned out to be an unusual but naturally occurring phenomenon. The magnetic waves produced by the planet, given properly hand handling and editing may sound a bit like talking or even singing but they are in no way created by a thinking being some scientists however find it quite catchy it might be possible to make use of this phenomenon possibly by hosting artists or vips at a station created solely to catch these signals and then play relaxing music is that a thing i can do oh Oh, it's a Unity station? I've never heard of that. Except for, like, a couple of the endgame shenanigans. It's a Unity station. Alright. I'll get right on that. I hope this guy doesn't... Well, actually, what what civilization are they at? Earth is in the Bronze Age. Hopefully, the guy does not have the ability to wipe out his civilization in the Bronze Age. Gather information. 
Arbiters have completed their information gathering operation of a dossier detailing their findings. Mission accomplished. Maximum infiltration up by five. Cool. Why can't I click on you? I I no longer know if that's where it. Hold on, can I unpause and get some info? No. That's very disconcerting. It's like I learned about them and then I knew even less than I thought I did. Well, we are improving our relations with them. It might be our egalitarian ways. I still have to get to 30 before I can acquire asset. Our attempts to decide the... To decode the language using Sigma, Sigma aliens have had a setback. Seems that our key assumptions about the linguists of relying on the translation have been conclusively disproven. While this means much of our progress will have to be revised, our, at least our future efforts will hopefully be built upon a more reliable basis. Negative two insights. We are receiving transmission from the Hefnaren Enterprises. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open to and all hostilities between us have ceased. Hi. Greetings, I sp uh, egalitarian xenophile spiritualist. Greetings, I speak for the chief executive officer of um, Peaceful Traders. You're not a megacorp, are you? You're... No, it would tell me, right? That'd be a different thing. And the wealthy elite of the enterprise enterprises. We are always looking for new partners among the diverse and delightful alien nations we encounter as our ships explore the galaxy. We salute you. Enterprises sounds like... Hold on, unpause. Whoa. You have a lot of land. Yeah, yeah, Megacorp. Uh... Church Megacorp. How are... Are we on good terms? Improve relations with the neighbors. Handshake protocols activated. Establishing an embassy. Sounds great. Let's do that. Do let's! Hold on, I sent that science vessel out there to go research that thing, and now it's... They, they took that territory, so yeah, come back. Poor Earth. I hope it'll be okay. But it's it's got a situation and I'm just watching the si just watching the situation. Okay. For the rebels on Soul 3, the future appears grim. Under the inspired leadership of Jafab, pro unification forces have seized power in most of the planet's population centers. Unity is imposed with an iron fist. Any dissent swiftly crushed. Oh. They're xenophobic. Well, I they're militarists, actually. They might not be xenophobic. I don't know. Add 50 devastation? Damn. I'm invested. I want to know what happens. There's more flavor in the Stellaris. I like it. The Brungan Butchers? Uh-oh, that sounds bad. These guys have a rivalry. That's also not good. We've received... A communicate um, a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that calls themselves the Bruggen Butchers. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire they are in contact with. Uh oh. I, fanatical xenophobe spiritualists, quake in fear, alien scum, for your doom approaches. 
The Brogan Butchers will cleanse the galaxy of misbehave, misbegotten, I thought misbehaving, huh? misbegotten Xeno civilization that pollutes it with their presence. Sexar shall burn. Um, respect my friggin' authority. Uh, let's see here. We pursue true equality. Do not stand in our way. Love is friendship set to music. Okay, what do we got here? This is... They think of us negative 50. Giving them negative 33% to spy network growth on us. That sounds good. The opinion of us changes 50%. So it's about us. It's about how we respond. Um... I respond positively. I am the Sexer Lupian Empire. But now I really want to spine out. Oh. Oh, that's why it's question mark, because they've already invaded them. That's what I thought was happening. What was that? Hunter Mun, fortify your star base. Good call, chat. Thanks for that. I'm lacking 12 alloys. Okay, I'm going to need some star bases that are exclusively about, like, getting food. If I build a star base here, plus one collection range would get me everything around it. They'll probably see it. But we'll work with that. Mysterious Spacefarers. Uh, local system defenses remain in state of heightened readiness after the recent incursion of the spacecraft of the Urizu system. Intelligence still analyzing data we have on the bogey. First contact advances. Difficulty 9. Alright, difficulty 9. Uh, so I pretty much know where my borders are. My current objectives are to fortify this location. I'm sorry, you can't see my mouse cursor. Ahem. Fortify the location in... Quosite. Fortify that starbase. And if I can... Grab this this side of this wormhole before the other side pushes through, takes out these aliens, and then fortifies it. Or take the wormhole system, then push forward and take the black hole system, which would be better. Because then I could... I actually don't know if it would be better. We're, we're trying to focus intelligently. I don't know. Construction I'm paused. complete. Why am I losing on consumer goods? Am I just not producing enough? Okay, Gaffer's got some un- oh, maybe Gaffer's got some unhappiness? Why are you marked as a generator world? Whoops. Alright. Construction complete. Special project complete. Rock potential. Prove the discovery. Please report that the experiment was a success. A significant number of mineral veins. On cluster three, have been transmutated to usable resources. 
Ooh. Go over there and grab that. Refugees arrive. Refugees arrive several times. From the Bruggen Butchers have arrived on Sexar. Mitron refugees. Battle vessel carrying Mitron refugees fleeing from the Butchers. Uh, these ragged and heightened refugees. Ragged and frightened refugees are survivors from an extermination program being carried out by the butcher authorities against their species. Well, uh, I imagine we have unemployment now. Sex are sex are soja. Yes, we have an unemployment. Wait, why is this marked as a generator world when I have minerals? Okay, hold on. Let's get some minerals. And let's remove some of this glacier that's in the way. Gaffer, I was already building more jobs. Okay. We are a safe haven, everybody. Na -na 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 Come join us. Whoa. We are aware of things. Oh, I'm about to have new neighbors. Uh, they have a new homeworld now. Probably not by choice. I forgot that we could have... Can't establish an embassy. They are resilient to this discussion, but we know not enough about them to find out why. I mean, it's probably because they're xenophobes, but, you know, just checking. Um... I kind of feel like I want to move this person... ...over here. That's improving spiral. Okay, I need spy network. Well, actually, let's move the improving relations. Because they could... No, we don't need the spy network right now. We need that spy network right now. Wait. You declared rivalry with us? We're improving relations, they are harming relations. I'm gonna make a call here. I'm gonna forego this alliance right now. I don't think they're going to be around. That is my... That is my bet. Handshake protocols activated. Oh, and they want to establish an embassy now. Alright. But what would it take... To form a migration treaty? They need positive relations. They are improving our relations. Well, I don't have anybody I can move since I just moved them all away. But you know, it's cool. We'll see what happens. Handshake protocols activated. Form a commercial pact. Uh, that's not telling me money-wise how good that is, but. I assume it's a little positive for both sides. Oh, you just declared rivalry.
You've got a wormhole. Hmm, what happened? The awareness of the... has increased to partially aware. Because I built the starbase? Cool. I'm cool with that, that makes sense. You're in the Bronze Age, though. You can't do anything about it. Um, partially aware. This civilization is partially aware of our existence of the life of the galaxy. Something is out there, but what? At the start of the month, their awareness was zero. Oh, they've entered an industrial age, and their diplomacy stance, stance is ignorant. Cool. Um, so anyway... Oh, I'm still- I'm- I'm in the middle of upgrading and they became partially aware. Uh oh, because... The orbit of the starbase is close to- wait, the starbases have orbits now? I mean, it doesn't move, but I don't remember them having little circles before. Protocols activated. Form research agreement. We can learn four two three, and they can learn three three three. You know that sounds pretty fair. That sounds pretty fair. That's a little bit of buff on both sides. Handshake protocol. Why am activated. I negative seventeen on consumer goods? Why are we consuming so much more? What am I miss what am I missing here? A non-aggression pack? Doesn't that cost me influence? Um... We're gonna decline that. Not because we plan on being aggressive, but because we still need influence. Wow. Oh, New World Order is about to tick over to 50%. Research complete. Got some unity each month. That's good. Starbase capacity would be really good. Uh, we're getting close on our fleet limit. We could go for that. Twenty percent more research society research from researchers. Twenty percent of sixty-five is I don't know, like fifteen? No, no, that's way too much. That'd be uh that'd be twenty-five percent. So it's like twelve? That's not insignificant then again that's researchers I don't know how much of my research is actually researchers new colonies get an additional pop star base influence cost is reduced that's what I'm here for we've analyzed the debris so I assume this science vessel doesn't really have anything else to do right now but oh, they're getting something to do construction ship that outpost is way cheaper. Let's do that. I like their little light bulb symbol. That's neat. Okay. A little bit long. For anybody who's watching later on YouTube, I would like to thank you for watching. This has been Stellaris with the uh, First Contact Story DLC. 
And uh, I will bring you back probably when the next tick of New World Order happens, which will be pretty soon. But uh, I wanted to cut the recording here, so I will see you in the future.